Hello, welcome to the Sincere Lifestyle. It's your girl Karen, and I'm excited to do a DIY plant based hair recipe. We're doing two hair recipes. One is going to be an apple cider vinegar rinse, and the other one is going to be rasu clay. I like mixing up my rasu clay. Sometimes I do rose rasu clay, cacao rasu clay, and hibiscus rasu clay. I like to mix it up and depending on how my hair feels. Today we're going to do a cacao rasu clay. Now let's talk about rasu, right? We're going to use 60 ml of rasu clay. Let's put it in here. And this is going to be the main Pyrex um, dish that we're going to mix it in. And what rasu clay does for your hair, it balances your pH, it acts as a natural exfoliator, it's an antiseptic, it heals the scalp or fungal infections, dandruff, and it also leaves a nice glossy shine and gives it a bounce, okay? Next up, we're gonna talk about our cacao. I love cacao, I like putting this in my smoothies, I like using cacao butter. Now this cacao powder has so many benefits. Now some of the benefits is that it contains a lot of silica and protein, and as you know, protein strengthens the hair, and in doing so, it gives you that length of retention, right? So we're gonna put at least 60 ml of cacao powder in this. And this is like a raw organic chocolate. Very lovely. Next up, I wanna talk about rose water. Okay. Rose water has so many benefits for your skin, for your hair. It also balances your pH. It's also an anti-inflammatory. It reduces dandruff. It helps with eczema and paralysis. What I'm going to do is put 60 ml of rose water into this mix. Have you guys ever smelled rose water? It's so good. All right, so I'm gonna start with this four ounce mixture. Within this four ounce mixture is half is um, spring water and the other half is aloe vera water. And what I did was steep one bag of green tea. You could do it overnight or you could actually um, boil the water as well. If you're using boiled water and just put the um, tea bag in and it'll be all set to go. So let's talk about the benefits of aloe vera water as well as the benefits of spring water. Spring water is still water, it's clean. The aloe vera water has many benefits. You know, aloe vera gel, you put it in your, on your skin. You can actually put aloe vera on your scalp. You can use it as conditioner, as a mask. I'm an aloe vera girl, I love aloe vera. I put it on my skin, I put it in my hair, I put it in my scalp, and it has so many benefits. For one, aloe vera can do many things for your hair. It acts as a conditioner. It allows your hair to grow. It's really great for your scalp as it lessens the dandruff amount and fungal properties um, on your skin, on your hair. It's good for uh, people with eczema as well. Very beneficial. So I'm gonna put this into this mixture. And you get to decide how thick you want your rasu clay mask to be. You can have it watery, you can have it into a thick paste. I like having mine in between a thick paste and watery, so I want it to be a little bit like medium. So when I put it in my hair, it doesn't have that much um, drainage from it. It just stays on the hair, it doesn't have anything leaking. Oh yeah, and green tea has so many benefits. It helps with shine, it helps with bounce, it helps with hair loss. It strengthens the hair, it's good for dangerous as well. So as you can see, we're treating the, the scalp mainly because we really want our hair to grow. As you can see, I'm just mixing it. It's a little watery now, but I want it to be like a medium thick paste. I don't want it to be too watery and I don't want it to be too thick. Just good enough for it to stay on my hair. Now this mixture is smelling really chocolatey, which I love. So good. So we're going to put 7.5 ml of borage oil into it. And some of the benefits of this is it acts as an anti-inflammatory agent. It battles scalp irritations. It also promotes thick 
here. Next up is five ml of argan oil. Argan oil is like the gold of hair oils. It's high in concentration of antioxidants, fatty acids, vitamin E. It softens the hair as well as boosts the shine and strengthens the hair as well. We are going next up with 15 ml of agave nectar. Yum, I love eating agave nectar. I love putting this in my smoothies. And also, I love putting it in my hair. Agave nectar has so many benefits as it restores the hair from being frizzy, dry, dull. It acts as a humectant, just a drawing water into the hair shaft, making it more moisturized, right? Next up is lemongrass. I'm putting five drops of lemongrass into this mixture. Lemongrass is very beneficial. It acts as uh, antioxidant is antibacterial is beneficial for the hair follicles it adds shine it releases scalp irritation itchiness and also dandruff next up we're going to do three drops of peppermint oil peppermint oil promotes hair growth it increases circulation within the scalp it prevents hair loss all right, three drops. Next up is 10 drops of pomegranate oil. It is packed with antioxidants. It helps support hair follicles as it provides it to be stronger. It improves hair circulation, promoting and stimulating hair growth. 10 drops. So you can mix with either a spoon or a blender. I'm going to use a blender. And the mixture is perfect to my liking. It's not too thick or too watery. So it's just going to sit on top of my hair and not drip. Increase it. There you go. Looks like chocolate pudding, but it's not. Oh, I'm making some of you guys hungry. <laughs> Look at that. This is so yummy. Love it. And like I said, this is a start of my DIY plant base is going to be more to come more recipes to come and I'm glad that you guys can actually share this journey with me chocolate pudding but it's not so this is cacao brassu clay and it smells wonderful okay so that is the mixture and we're done all right guys here is the final product this is the cacao grassu clay and i'm so excited to try this with you guys and each week we're going to be doing more and more plant-based products that is beneficial for your hair and you guys can actually leave a comment and tell me what do you guys like about it what do you guys don't like about it what, what do you want to try next and this is a nice paste it smells so amazing I had a little bit of peppermint in it, cacao, and I can't wait to try this with you guys and see the um, end results. So stay tuned for part two of the apple cider vinegar rinse. Bye. Hit the subscribe button and press like on the video. See you next time.